Hey, greetings and peace be unto you. So today is a new day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope everyone, including the mothers, had a wonderful, blessed, immeasurable weekend for you mamas and you daddies. Every day is Mama Day and Daddy Day. And so I hope you enjoyed your weekend. It is not about things. It is the love that's always there. Um, my my soldier was so easily pleased. You buy her a bag of, of gummy worms and she was pleased. She act like she got a million dollars. And so that's what she has instilled in us. It don't take much to please me. And so um, if anything, I'm going to get things that are out of necessity, things that I really, really need. And so to each his own, I'm not knocking nobody. If you can do it big or however you want to do it, do it. I don't really care. I just hope that you had an enjoyable weekend and that it's about the love and relationship above all else. You know, it doesn't matter about the material things. It's going to be laid waste and moth eaten. It's more about the relationship and the true love behind it. Okay. And so I'm going to start out with this song I learned and I can hear my soldier, my papa and my sibs singing this song when we were children. This was the jam, and this was um, one of the songs that I put in a song book that um, I made for back then. And so it's called, He is Jehovah. And the song, the lyrics of this song is, He is Jehovah, God of creation. This is my jam, y'all. I love this song. He is Jehovah, because it makes you do the little rock with it. And so I love this song. And it's upbeat, and it's... Just speaking on the greatness of our Father. We have gotten away from speaking on the greatness of Almighty God, true and living God, and the love of Jesus and what encourages his people. I know testimony encourages his people, but let's not veer off course and mix blessings with material things because blessings, true blessings, are generation to generation and a spiritual with Almighty God. And it trickles into the natural. However, it's still for the king. And so, okay, back to the song. I'm just excited about the song. Um, he is Jehovah, Lord God Almighty. He, um, the bomb of Gilead, the rock of ages. He is Jehovah, the God that healeth thee. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Um, he spoke a lot about healing. I know that I always tell he continuously heals me. Nobody know that this side of my face is swollen and it hurts. But God, I'm going to tell you how quick he work. And so this is to encourage you. You know, things may not drastically change for you right away, but he's continuously working it for our good. We just got to receive it. And wait on it. I am the great I am, the God of Abraham, Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace I am, the God of Israel, the everlasting one. He is Jehovah, the God that healeth thee. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. He is Jehovah, Lord God Almighty. He is Jehovah, the God that healeth thee. Now he heals us in many ways. He heals the land. He heals our minds. He heals our hearts. He heals our body. The healing is just not one way. He heals us in many ways. And so I am your provider. Yes, he is Jehovah Jireh, God of salvation, God of Messiah. My son who came to you and testified of him. I am Jehovah, the God that healeth thee. And it says again, sing hallelujah. And it says it all the way twice. It says it again. And then it says again, I am your provider. I'm going to say it again if you don't know. I'm spraying it y'all this morning. I am your provider. Jehovah Jireh, God of salvation, God of Messiah, my son who came to you and testify i want to say it's of me but they put him testified of him i am jehovah now i'll be making up my own words too so i probably just made up that one word but it says testified of him i am jehovah the god that healeth thee um and it repeats it over and over again y'all this one every time like i just love this song because um god is so good like even though um like I said before, Mother's Day was every day for my, my soldier. My sibs, not just myself, but my sibs and my papa 
they went above and above beyond for my my soldier and she spoiled us and i feel like um we spoiled her every last one of my sibs for my my soldier i can tell i'm thinking of so many um grand things that they did for her you know i mentioned the trip that i take it but my my sibs took on trips all the time my papa took on trips all the time um she always wanted to go to the grand canyon and my um my um i call him brother my baby brother he took her to the grand canyon it's like my papa just he's taking her all over the world just so many grand things that we did all year long we didn't celebrate holidays but we did it every day and that's how we were taught so remember that y'all do it every day for people you know i had a, i'm gonna speak this is it, my testimony the morning started out good yesterday was awesome i got to see my sister and my sister and it, what better way to spend it with because i know it was different for all of us you know even communicating with my brothers and my papa it was different for all of us um you know and i gotta shout out miss tabitha queen brown she is one of a kind and i forgot to mention her videos ago like i um i always watch her ones when she say the holy spirit woke me up she did got on up i don't care how hollywood she don't even i i don't even think she realized how beautiful she is she's beautiful inside and out but she don't have that um she's humble i don't know another way she's humble and she's just beautiful and so i forgot to mention this before and every time i thought about it, it kept slipping my mind but it's for today that's why i kept slipping my mind because the father wants me to say it today and so it was early in the morning and she said the father it was just short to the point video the father woke me up the spirit woke me up is what she said and she just encouraged those that the first um mother's day without their mom and i started to cry because i i hadn't been crying and stuff like i had my moment on friday but it was a brief moment because the lord always come back in comfort peace encourage just give me good thoughts of like what she's doing like she's just having a good time y'all um they preparing for us get that to celebrate eternally and so i just had to shout her out she's just a wonderful person even though she hollywood she don't like hollywood she's very humble and she loves jesus and that's she talk about it all the time and it displays in her actions it sure does and so i just um i was grateful for that i was and so i even shared it i sure did and so um i don't have to know people but i get excited to be on that great day i'm going to see all my brothers and sisters all the queens and kings and whoever you're going to be in the new heaven and new earth i'm just excited um to have a family not only my physical family those that i'm close to also um my family in jesus christ all over the world and so let me get into this um so i always have quite a bit of information i'm, I'm going to try not to be redundant some things i am going to repeat over and over again because i know he wants me to and he's going to tell me to because i know it's um True messengers of God, when you speak it forth, he make it come to pass. And I, I've been seeing it, boom, 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 left and right. And I've even seen, been seeing it manifest in my own life. I'm going to give my testimony about my business in another video when it's time. It's, it's coming real soon, but when it's time, I'm going to break it all the way down for you because um, everything is in God's perfect timing. I know that he gave me what he gave me. And I know that it works. And so I'm going to talk about that in another video within the next week or two. Within the next seven or 14 days, I'm going to speak about the business that the Father gave me and that how he's going to bring it back greater than ever. And so I, I got it. I just feel, hey, God, hey, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. I just felt the Holy Ghost so strong because something so great happened this morning. Y'all wouldn't believe all the mess that has occurred. And I just, I'm, I'm going to, um, I'm going to share it in another video though. And it's going to be titled business, um, from the dirt <laughs> to thriving or something to that effect. And so we just got to continue to trust God and actually from thriving to the dirt to back to thriving. I'll say that. And so, because God is the one that opens heart and closes heart. That's what I do know. But it, he was making and forcing me to persevere, especially a lot last year. I really had to persevere really, really hard um, when 
especially when your loved one is sick and you're close to them, it's a lot. And then the way, you know, for things to go down the way that it did, it's all God. He allowed it. And so, okay, let me get into this because I'm, I'm, I'm not rambling. This is to encourage some people today because I know when you know the word of God, I'm, I'm going to share a dream that he gave me coming up as well. When you know the word of God, you're not going to, you're going to tell your testimony, but you're not going to still be downtrodden in, trodden in it. You're not still going to complain constantly. You're going to trust and the true and living God. Um, and then what they, and, and then what he can do, because I'm, I'm thinking of they, they, and some, some, they give you a bunch of scriptures, but they don't even believe it because as you encourage them in spirit, they just keep giving a bunch of scriptures and then talking negative at the same time. And some people don't realize that they do that, but they do. And so for me, I notice all things in the spirit and I, I don't, Call I, I call it as he wants him to call it because I know when and when not to. I'm just a little different from everybody else. I walk in what he has for me. Some of you should be warring and you are not. That's why you're getting tore up. But for me, I know that I'm we are in a time of war and I'm supposed to war and I'm supposed to speak up because that's something I never did. I just started speaking like going hard speaking up probably in the last three years maybe. And I just got harder and harder as far as being bolder and bolder is what I mean. And so... I asked for boldness and that's what he gave me totally. And so, but I know when, and when not to, because some people try to um, engage you and then provoke you. So it's just all in trusting him and walking in the spirit. Okay. So he gave promise all weekend, letting me know that he's, um, he's fulfilling the promises that he made me. Um, It's a lot y'all. He has made me many promises and I have made him promises and I'm going to keep his promises. I am because people don't understand like, um, only the Holy Spirit can help you to not allow people to influence you to do what they want you to do. And then it'll get you in disobedience and out of line with God. And then you'll miss what he truly has for you because you're thinking on the temporary thing. Um, I, for me, I've always wanted to work, but that is not the direction the Father is taking me personally. And so it does cause conflict, but I got to trust God because he's taking greater. I walk in the spirit. 100% every day, all day. And so I got to trust what the promises that he has made me because I want more than just working for somebody else as I've done all of my life and work hard for other people. And that's something that I always told my, my soldier, like when I'm crying her, crying to her about work, you know, or whatever, having difficulties all the time. And you know, you were a go above and beyond because you're doing it for Jesus, not for them. And um, we've always, we often had that conversation. So I'm thankful to the father for allowing her to see me have my business before she transitioned because that's something that I, I I have said that to her for years that I want to work hard for myself for the kingdom and for myself and not work for nobody else and so okay and I know I keep saying you know talking about my business and not actually displaying it um I did on other other um public sites but like i said it's god that opens hearts and closes hearts but it's for purpose it wasn't time then he allowed it to maintain but he's taking it in a different direction and i gotta be willing to do the new get that anything i tell you i got i apply it to my own life i got to there's no other way for me okay so promise of power was one thing that he right out the right out the Right out the gate. That's what I see. Promise of power. Um, and transitioning. He's transitioning me into rest. Y'all, I've been working a long, 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 long time. Not all, only in the physical. I am say yes. Correct. He's transitioning me into rest because uh, he's making things easier for me because I have told in rough ways. Like it's been hard um, ministering to people all my life. Whether it's work, always been the outsider, um, always being rejected because of Jesus Christ. That's it. It's no other reason because I always treat people how I want to be treated, but I never reciprocated except for a few. And so it did not make me bitter. I still, if you loyal, if you trustworthy, if you are true, if you are authentic, true and real, that's what you're going to get from me. You're not going to get nothing else. If you can't give that to me, I don't want to fool with you. And I'm not going to fool with you. And I, not just to have a bunch of friends. I'm not going to do it. It's a headache. I know it's a headache. Y'all, I always said this since I was a shorty. I don't mind rolling solo. It don't bother me not one bit. But the, the bonus of it 
I got a friend like no other, and that's Jesus Christ. Okay, and so uh, rest, mind of Christ. That's how you rest in Jesus. Um, he gave me that years ago, and I will often tell people, rest in Jesus. That's what that means. When you obtain the mind of Christ, you are resting in him. You have peace in him. You have, um, you don't worry about nothing. And if everything, all hell can be breaking loose around you, and you don't have a care in the world. That's how Jesus was, like even on the boat. Um, master, or do you not care that... We are about to sink in this ship and the wind blowing and it's about to tear the ship up and you sleep. That's Jesus. He calmed. He said, peace, be still. And everybody was fearful because he calmed the storm. Only he can do that. Not just a storm in the natural, but that storm raging within of things you got going on that you don't share with nobody because you know nobody can help you but Jesus. For me, I always tell testimony after the fact. After he has worked that thing out for me. And so a lot of my videos is testimony. A lot of them from since way back then, even when I was looking crazy and I was so sad because my, my soldier was gone. He still helped me to persevere and press through. And so I'm just grateful. Um, that's just grateful. And so rich oppressors rebuke. That's something that he has given me to do. That's why you often hear me go hard against those that are rich and You'll step over somebody um, broke down and pull on the side of the road. You wouldn't even spit on them or look at them. And so these are the things that he has given me to do. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be obedient to him, even if nobody else understands. That's their problem. Okay. So possess the land. He gave that to me. He's been giving that to me for weeks. But he's been giving me Joshua chapter 3. So I kept reading. So he took me to Joshua 21. I want to say on Saturday or Sunday, one of those days, he took me to Joshua. It wasn't Saturday because he told me to rest. Um, that's not something that I, I'm really good at. Like I rest when I don't, when I totally feel broke down and don't feel good, everything hurting and um, I just don't feel good, then I'll rest. Other than that, I, if I can tolerate it, I'm going to keep it moving. And that's how I've always been. Um, and you'll rarely, you'll rarely hear me complain about something unless it hurt really bad. And then I'll make myself um, do things anyway. And so Joshua, Joshua. Okay, y'all, give me a second. Because I have, I went out. I had to go out. I didn't have a choice. And so, um, let me see. Okay, so the promise is fulfilled. This is what he gave me all last week, um, all weekend, over and over again. I'm going to read a part of it. 21 verse 43 says, So the Lord gave to Israel all the land of which he has sworn to give to their fathers. That's mine. That's my inheritance too. And they and it's yours too, if you want it. And they took possession of it and dwelt in it. The Lord gave them rest. Hey, God. All around. According to all that he has sworn to their fathers. And not a man of all their enemies stood against them. That's what he gave me as well all weekend. You know, my papa on earth, I was able to talk to him. And, you know, he said, um, the scripture the father kept giving was he'll even make your enemies at peace with you. And so he said something similar to that as well um, over the weekend. And so for me, I'm at peace with all of my enemies because I don't think about you. He told me to let you go. And that's what I did. And it gave me peace and measurable. And I, I don't really don't even think about them unless they're mentioned. And so and he hasn't instructed me to pray for them because all of those prayers that I prayed many, many years back for them. That's enough. And so, okay, uh, let's see. Not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. And that's what he gave me all weekend, y'all. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. Every word, just about every word in the scripture, that's what he gave me over the weekend. And so, this is how he talks to me um, through my journaling, which he's going to get into that. To, I guess to help some of y'all understand a little bit better why he has me ha, had me to journal for so many years. And in this manner, I didn't journal about my life. I started out journaling. I did. In 2006, when I was going through divorce, I started journaling about um, the divorce, how I felt and my new life, my new love and all of that. 
it was real brief. Um, and then I ended with a long list of what I wanted in um, a future spouse if that was God's will for me. And so, okay. Uh, the promise fulfilled. He had me write it again. He also said one day to me. He also has been giving me one year over and over again. I know that applied to my life. But for some of you as well, He was he, that's his quickly. For the father to be able to squeeze everything in, in one year for you after you've been toiling your whole life. You know, he kept giving me Queen Esther over and over again. That's why I knew it was one year for me. And so um, trust God only. And then miracles. Miracles upon miracles. For some of you, all you got to do is receive. If you know you have been living for Jesus all your life, in spirit and in truth, all your life, and you only went so far, that's because it wasn't time. That's what you got to know. It just wasn't time then. But now it's time. I know it's time for me. It's time for some of you. And you just got to walk in that thing. He also um, had me write again the video on Deceiver Deceived. That's a video. He also gave um, a dream, new life, gifts, glory of God, divine completion, um, and the and confirmation. The gifts in the dream were specifically for me. It had my name on it. Um, symbols also was favored, um, power. And so he gave me deeper meaning. In the dream, it was Mother's Day. I didn't get it though. I, I got it yesterday, y'all, on that day. And what I said in the dream, it was cards and all kinds of stuff, cards and gifts. And in the dream, I said, thank you, mama. And the person wasn't my mama. But that's, those are the kind of symbols he gave, he gives me. But I got everything in the dream except the date was yesterday. And I got it that morning, y'all. But he tells me that it wasn't time for me to get it then, that he wanted me to get it um, yesterday. And that's what happened. And he came through. He really came through. And so... And not in material things, I mean in a spiritual sense. He came through. He really blessed immeasurable. Like, I, I just can't even explain it. It's it just, um, God is just awesome. He is so awesome. So I, it was very nice seeing my um, soldier sisters, sister and sissy as well. I got a, um, I got some other uh, soldier sis. Um, and if it's his will, I'll see them soon as well. However, um, it's just, um, for me, those that have lost a mama, they understand it. Um, it just feels different. That first one feels different. You know, I even checked on my son because I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but my son's um, mom passed it and, and she transitioned in October of 2020 and mine in 2012. And he's just such a, a um, special child. And he, um, I was just boohooing. And he came, he was like, um, he gave me a hug and he said, um, it's going to, he, he said, I know, I understand what it feels like. Um, it's, it's, it gets better with time. My soul, my, um, he called me Ma in my name. And so, um, it really touched me. Like, I don't know if I mentioned this. I, I may have in a previous video, but he's such a special child. Um, he's always been that way. And, you know, when you have greater calling, the enemy always come. He, he tried everything. And so I just remain prayerful. That's it. And I got it. That's what I know. And so, okay. He kept giving healing power over and over again. And as well as church leave over and over and over, all day long, y'all. All day long. Um, release healing. That's for some of you. He has released healing. You either receive it or you don't. It's up to you if you want it. Me, I want everything he has for me. And I'm going to keep on saying it. It's shortened for the elect's sake. So whatever he does for you, don't sit in up that thing and get too excited and try to get all um, Hollywood and mess. Don't mess yourself up. You stay grounded, stay humble, do it for the kingdom. Whatever it is, kingdom first. Ask him, he'll guide you. That's it. And so um, trust God only. That's for some of you, all of you, really. Trust God only. Because people try to attach themselves to the favor and blessing on your life to hinder you. Um, I see that often and I have seen it over the years, but when I wised up through the all wise God, I've learned to let things go. You got to, cause it'll keep you at that certain point. Um, 
we can't take on certain ministries for our, ourselves the way we want to do it. For me, back in the day, I used to try to minister to everybody. God had to teach me to use wisdom because I was wearing myself out. Everybody is not your assignment. We have a certain a lot of people that are our assignment and God knows each individual person that's your assignment. There are people you you know and you don't know. I've had many, many um, dreams on wealthy people, people that are celebrity and people that I don't even know. And um, people I do know just all walks of life. And the father is up to him because that's when change comes. That's something that happened today. I didn't even know this woman, but he wanted me to minister to her and come to find out, man, it was something else. But I'm going to speak about this in my business video because it was business related. And so it was awesome and amazing. And so um, let me move on. Okay. So um, he said before, I'm trying to stop that UM over and over again. I had to stop the video because I kept saying it over and over. I couldn't even watch it. And I'm so sorry for that, but it only happens when the distractions around when like it was that day where the lawnmower kept um, going where the person stood still. They started on one side of the house and then the one in the back started and it was just constant. And I kept trying to um, gather my thought and then you'll see me stop and pray. That's what that is. Um, <clears throat> okay, y'all, I'm sorry. Jesus, help me right now. Please, Lord, help me right now. So, so, sealed words. And he reminded me, the sealed words, I'm in a place of prophetic. That's what he's given me, the sealed words to tell about this end, to let you know the truth of the matter of what's going on so that you are prepared in spirit. You can't prepare in the natural. I'm telling you now, you can't prepare in the natural. I tried it, y'all. And Jesus and I had a good old laugh. We sure did. He's like, daughter, I didn't, I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> I didn't tell you to do that. And I and I had a big old 10 pound bag of rice and just all kind of stuff. And I just laughed, y'all. It is just, God is amazing. I, I, I tickle him. I'm going to tell you that now. I tickle me and I tickle him. And so, let's see. Okay. And several times over and over again, y'all, trust God only and he also reminded you trust him if you are walking in the spirit don't let people come to you and tell you that jesus is not coming that is a lie from the pit of hell i'm telling you it's a lie trust god only trust his word even when people don't understand what you're talking talking about it may not come right now but it's coming quickly is what he said and so don't let people sway you into their foolishness and their mess Okay, you want to be ready at all times. Last trump, short time. This is what he gave over the weekend. Gathering everyone for different tasks. Trust God only. Especially those that have those end time tasks. Trust him only because people going to try to pimp you. I'm telling you now. They're going to try to pimp you. Trust God only. Listen to him only. Incline your ears because every, every purpose is not a God purpose. So you got to make sure 100% because you don't want to deviate. It could be something so grand and great, but you got to make sure the father told you to do that. So you don't become disobedient and get off course. Okay. And so redeem the time. He gave Revelations 14 again. And I know he gave seven as well. Always remember to redeem the time. Don't get so caught up and forget that we are in serious time, serious times. And that um, we are in the end. So we can go any second, any minute, any hour, any day. Jesus is coming. Remember that. So you want to be doing the right thing at all times. Remain repentant and in line with him. <laughs> and he had me write it again. No matter what anyone says, trust God only. He said it. It is so. That's what he had me write some months ago. And so he had me write it again um, yesterday. Or not yesterday. Let me see. Hang on, y'all. On the seven. This is from the seven. So I'm just um, running it back for you. I'm sharing what he wants me to share. Okay. So Holy Spirit healing. He wants me to say it again. Also, um, some of you are gonna be caught lying. Truth revealed. He's already revealed the truth of um 
some of you. So he wants me to go to Acts 5. He gave me this uh, probably maybe a couple weeks ago he gave me this, but I've always read this. This was probably one of the first scriptures I read to my son because he used to um, tell them little tales. Y'all, I did not play no games when it came to that. You know, children need to know what it really is because if you teach them the proper fear of God as shorties, they're not going to deviate from that. They're not, and they remember it. And so I can ask him questions about certain um, Bible stories and all that. He can run it back. And so um, that's what my papa did for us. Lying to the Holy Spirit. This is Acts chapter 5. And I'm, I will be starting at verse 1. Um, if you do not know this story, please read Acts chapter 5 for you. Um, there are some other ones. Um, I'm just going to share the scriptures. I'm not going to those. But he really wanted me to read Acts 5, starting with chapter, or chapter 5 and verse 1 lying to the holy spirit but a certain man named ananias with Sapphira, his wife sold a possession and he kept back part of the proceeds his wife also being aware of it and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles feet and so even if, as wives this is what i'm saying if your husband is doing something that goes against god you're lying and you're doing things that are um not of god you don't follow your husband. You're going to follow him right there, death and hell, basically. You, the Jesus covers you until they get in line. That's why you aren't to be married unequally yoked. And so, okay. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself? Question. While it remained, was it not your own question? And after it was sold, was it not your own control? Question. Why have you conceived this thing in your heart? Question. You have not lied to men, but to God. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his last breath. Uh oh, excuse me, y'all. I said that backwards. Fell down and breathed his last, which is his last breath. So it means that so great fear came upon all those who heard these things this is peter speak and the young men that's for your you guys that say oh you you supposed to bless and not curse and you're supposed to do this and that you got to do what it is the lord tells you to do period exclamation mark that's our problem allowing man to tell us what when jesus is the one that should be telling us not man at all and so Great fear came upon all those who heard these things. And the young man arose and wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him. Now it was about three hours later. Three hours. That's that three. His wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter answered, tell me whether you sold the land for so much. Question. She said, yes, for so much. And Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Question. Look. The feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out. Then immediately she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. And the young men came in and found her dead and carrying her out, buried her by her husband. So great fear came upon all the church mm -hmm, and upon all who heard these things. So now, you know, if you've never heard, read this before, go read it for yourself. Um, the rest of it is continuing in the power of church. <clears throat> the father wants me to read it. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> All right. And through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. I had a dream about this um, scripture before. Yet none of the rest dared join them. For the people esteemed them highly, and believers were increasingly added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they brought the sick out into the streets and laid them on beds and couches, that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might fall on some of them. The shadow. That's the power of God, y'all. The shadow. You ain't got to open up your mouth. That's for y'all that's toiling in the flesh. Also, a multitude kept gathered from the surrounding cities to Jerusalem, bringing sick people and those who were tormented. Mm -hmm. by unclean spirits and they were all healed that's healing too 
Okay, and so the last part is the imprisoned um, apostles. Um, this is like one of my, let me see. Okay, let me go down to 29 because this just jumped down of me. But Peter and the other apostle answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than man. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you murdered by hanging on a tree. Him God has exalted to his right hand to be prince and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses to these things. And so also is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. That's your answer. The Holy Spirit is my witness. That's, I guess for whoever may be doubting that, the Holy Spirit is my witness. I do have uh, witnesses in the flesh as well, but above them, the Holy Spirit is my witness. It's Jesus Christ and God. So, um, please read that entire chapter for yourself. Um, let's see. Okay, he said that's it. All right. But please, please read the whole chapter. It's, it's excellent. Um, he wanted me to read those parts this morning. Uh, let's see. Isaiah 63 and 4. I gave this one before as well. After that, he had me write, Jesus return quickly. Judgment set. Uh, let's see. Church buildings. Not built on a solid foundation, and Jesus Christ will be extinct. He also had me write apostasy after that. I've already given the definition on that many a times. You must truly be about the Father's business, uh, and you will make kingdom moves. Uh, God's glory, preservation, perserva inheritance. He gave that last week. I remember mentioning it in the video, as well as the definition. Rest. Natural change. Swift destruction, all hell broke loose. Truth, movement. Quick work, anointed to bind and loose. He's just reiterating and confirm, confirming everything that he has given me. Cleansed for service. He has cleansed me for service. So I don't have to ask nobody else about it. He's cleansed me. And y'all know my mind is it's only on him. You can't sway me. It's only on him. And I don't care who you are because he don't send some hard people to try to sway me. It ain't work, y'all. My mind, I am persuaded and my mind, once my mind made up, that's it. And so, and I've always been that way. That's it. You know, some people used to try to tell me that I was indecisive, but I realized now that I was listening for the Lord to give me an answer because I'll say one thing and then the Lord will give me something different and then I will go with that. And, you know, sometimes we say, oh, you got to follow your first mind. No, you got to listen for the Lord and let him spiritually guide you on the right thing because that's what keeps you in line. And I know the times that I made the decision on my own because it's so messy. Okay. And so, and he cleansed me for service, for the service to the doctrine of truth. God's word. That's it. Okay. And then, let's see. Truth reveals false. This is what he has given again. I wrote that some months ago, but he wanted me to write again, write it again. And of course, all weekend he gave possess, possess the land. And so I read that from Joshua 21 because that's what he gave all weekend. And that's what has been occurring. Each day is he's like going hard for me. And I'm so grateful. I'm going to continue to tell testimony. Um, I will let you know what happened and then how he worked it out. I don't like to jump out and tell testimony because people think you're still there and you're not. Um, I usually tell after the fact because that's how the Holy Spirit leads me to do. So, and so, uh, let's see. Official records. Innocency and pure. Is what he gave over the weekend. Propel with force to usher in the king. This is what else he gave over the weekend. King's celebration. He has taught me long suffering, y'all. Humble as a child, a little child, higher in the spirit. These are the words he was giving me, but it's it's kind of hitting me different right now, reading it, reading it again. And and for me, I also release things not only for myself, but for some of you. You know if it's for you or, or if it's not for you. Um, you know if it's for you. Don't don't be acting like it's for you if you live in a sin and feel and you hadn't let the Lord do the work on you. Don't do that because you're you're making yourself worse off. Just acknowledge what you're doing that's wrong and then turn from that. OK, and so. 
He, he also gave over the weekend. He is healing the church. He gave healing in a lot of different ways. He's healing the true church. He's healing. He's healing those that you just a little bit off. You know, you just, it's some things you need to tweak and change. You need to get in line with him and get away from doctrine of man and tradition and religion. But your heart right. Mm -hmm. Your heart right. And it's just a few things. Because some of you, like I always speak how I was raised. I was raised in truth. If you were raised in a different way, then you're holding on to that way when you can't do that. You got to cut away those things and get at the feet of Jesus. Get the truth of the matter so that you can apply it to your life and it won't make it so messy. Um, people are not going to judge you because you got in line with God. They're going to respect you more. For me, when people do that, I respect you so much more. Like, and I get excited. I'm like, now I have another brother and sister in Christ, a true brother and sister in Christ because they have received the truth. That's what we're all supposed to do is receive the truth. And then you spread that truth. Don't keep spreading false because you, you want to be, as some people like to call you biggity or you want to be disobedient and rebellious and do it your way, no matter what. Y'all better get away from that because that's going to mess you up. He going to sit you down and shut you up. Okay. And so he gave again, royal priesthood. We all need to be immersed, immersed in God. He had me write that down a while ago and he had me write it again over the weekend. All of us should be sharing the message on salvation. This is what he keeps giving me over and over again. Everybody is supposed to share the message on salvation. Place the truth, he'll get you there. He'll get you there. You just got to trust him and not, not be stubborn in a way that I'm going to do it my way and I don't care. I don't want to hear nothing. Nobody got to say, I'm going to do it my way and I'm going to continue to do it my way. That's going to mess you up. It will mess you up. Okay. And so. Okay. So he also wants me to say. Prophecy only come to fruition in its appointed time. You got to be 100% sure. Some of you, I, I used to do this years ago, where I would jump the gun and it'll come a whole, whole year or so later. It'll come to pass a long time from now. So he got me in line where it's more concise as far as how long or around about like uh, in that time within seven days or within three days or something like that um he gives me specific dates like for myself he gives me specific dates on this day this is what's going to occur and it always does always um he'll give me times as well as far as from this time to this time blah 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 okay not blah 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 but boom 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 this 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 and it happens okay and so I already read about um, Acts chapter 5, Acts 12. Read that chapter. That's Herod. He was eaten alive by worms because he refused to give glory to God. Y'all better get that. Read Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 13. This is Paul. He wants me to go there. Acts chapter 13. Okay, let's see. All right. And I will be going to verse, let me see, let me make sure. Yeah, I'm going to verse six. Okay. Now, when they had gone through the island, and it, it mentions the name of the island, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bar Jesus, who was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man. This man called for Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elimus, the sorcerer's sorcerer, for so his name is translated, withstood them 
That's what they do, y'all. Seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. That's what they do, y'all. They try to turn you away from the faith. They ain't got it and they don't want you to have it either. It, it just makes them so mad that God is all powerful. So that's what they do. Then Saul, who also is called Paul. Y'all, I, I tell you testimony. It's in the Bible. Everything that I've gone through, it's in the Bible. Like, it might seem foolishness to those that walk in the flesh, but the apostles and Jesus and those prior, you know, I did a video. The Lord had me do a video on that. They went through these things. But when you walk in the flesh, you're going to be naive to these things. Okay, so. Okay, he would sit down. Okay, for the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, Oh, full of all deceit and all fraud, you son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness. Will you not cease perverting the straight ways of the Lord? Question. And now indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you. And you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a time. And immediately a dark mist fell on him. And he went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand. And the proconsul believed when he saw what had been done, being astonished at the teaching of the Lord. Okay, so if you're interested in it, go read it for yourself. It's, it's in the word. Um, you got to walk in the spirit. You can't allow people to push you back. The wicked don't want you to rise up and be bold because they know the power of God is in you to turn things around. But you guys, some of you, you keep sitting in it because it don't make sense in your mind. It don't make sense to you. You're trying to reason in your own mind without wisdom. And so for me, I'm going to walk in the wisdom of the Lord, of the all wise God, because you can't outwise him no matter who you are. And so uh, let's see. He also had me to walk right over the weekend. Seven seal open. Silas in heaven, 30 minutes. The bottom, bottomless pit open. Revelations 10, little book open. He had me right opened three times. So I'm sharing that with you guys because he wants me to. Don't believe me, believe the Holy Spirit. That's what I hear the Father say. Because some of you, you are sitting in mess you ought not be. I, it, it's just amazing to me, no matter what I go through, that my, my soldier was the same way. No matter what I go through, it can be pure hell, the worst of the worst, y'all. Like, the worst of the worst. But I'm not going to sit in that thing to the point where I, I have my time. Like, I'll, I'll feel some kind of way about it. And I always trust God to turn it around and to make me even more strong in him. He does it to strengthen you. His strength is made perfect. And my weakness. That's what he's given me for very for many, many years. So when I am weak, I am strong in him. And so it's because I need the strength. I needed the strength in this end. For the assignment that he has given me, I need the strength. Because people will try to push you back and they don't know nothing about nothing. They what they're talking about is not lining up to the time that we are in. And so y'all need to get this. I want everybody to get what God has for them. It has been held on to for so long and it should not have been this way we should not have been as a people the things that i see it should not be it should not be and so we fight for everything else i'm gonna fight for my jesus that's what i'm gonna do he don't need me to because he can call down legions whenever he feel like it but i'm gonna fight for my jesus i want what he has for me i want to be with him eternally and so whatever it takes that's what i'm going to do i am committed to doing that and i have done it done it i've walked it out i'm not telling you anything that i haven't done myself i'm sorry i'm shaking the um my little table um i'll get it situated in the next video so i'm not shaking it so much i'm just y'all have no clue i try to give it to you in bits, bits and pieces but jesus but jesus be encouraged this day okay so victory celebration rebuke false over and over again that's what he wants me to do. He keeps reiterating that and reminding me of that. That's what he has called me to do. He has given me several tasks. And I tell you about every, all of them, except for a few of them. But it's just a, you got to be well rounded. You got to walk in the spirit and you, and you will know for yourself what you're supposed to do. 
okay? Bind false in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind all manner of false in the name of Jesus. And I release truth, the true doctrine of God in the mighty name of Jesus. That he turned this thing around, that people's lives will change. Not only change for here, but into eternity. That they get that salvation. That they get what God has for them and stop living in a temporary mind. You're only thinking for right now, and that is doing you no good. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. All right. All right. All right. Okay, let me move on. I'm going to have to stop this in a little bit. Um, the past is behind. That's for some of you. New earth escaped to the new heaven that's how he had me write it he kept having he kept having me to write revelations 10 over and over as well as defense against falsities um many people are just they so proud they big and proud of it walking in false they don't care they don't care and they'll stand there and debate you up and down round and round the bend that they right they just want to be right i'm not trying to be right but i'm gonna spit the truth and that's the true doctrine of god that's it the testimony of jesus christ that's it yes we are allowed to share our testimonies but that shouldn't be um over christ and what he did and the things what's going to draw you closer to him and change your life true lasting change not just that mess where you say it with your mouth and you're still doing whatever it is you want to do in secret he has given me double double covering that he has. Um, it was a process in it. Y'all, it was painful. It, it was a, a painful process, like literally. But he did it and I rejoice and I am grateful this day. Double protection. God is gracious. That I do know from experience. Promise over and over again. Possess the land over and over again. I'll try not to keep reading certain things, but I'm speaking this into the heavenlies that it manifests quickly. God's glory, restoration, preservation, inheritance. He reiterated that he has cleared me for service. And I, I literally began today, like normally I don't really conversate with people and it was a business call. However, I'll, I'll tell you about it real soon. It, it was just an awesome thing. And I really felt the spirit in me strong. Like that's when the, this is how the father has worked for me. If it's someone I'm, if that's assigned to me, the Holy Spirit comes on me real strong. If the Holy Spirit is not on me real strong, then I know that this person is not for me. I'll just say a, a simple, like, uh, you know, something real simple. Like, I hope you're, I hope you be okay or something like that. But to go in depth or some, or just to go in depth about things with people, I don't, unless the spirit is on me real strong and he tells, he's telling me what to say. And so that's often when I'm doing videos, he's telling me what to say. I'm the one that's doing the UM though, but it's only that it's that, it, I don't know why, because the, the lawnmower was going just now and then it, that starts, but God always breaks it, break it. You'll see me just constantly just come out of things that's how he has strengthened me that's that double i needed it y'all desperately y'all just have no clue i just really really needed it and as well as my my soldier really needed that and as well as as well as some of the others that was called for the symbol tags they need it I mean, they need it and so lord jesus help us right now this was a dream battling wickedness in the dream and when i said lord jesus help us right now they scattered, they disappeared. And so, and, and literally in this dream, I was literally trying to hold people up. They, they were falling asleep and it was two two people and they were, one was symbolic of church and one was someone else that I know that's close to me. And I was trying to hold them up. I run to one, one of fall asleep. I run to them, hold them up, praying in the spirit, run to the other one, hold them up, praying in the spirit. And then I just stopped and just said, Lord Jesus, help us right now. And then that's when it, um, the wicked woman because we were standing there literally battling and she was making them fall asleep and so take that it's, it's, it's real simple that's that's a basic dream you can understand that people are still sleeping some of you are hitting the snooze button but he gonna joke you awake you know the true speakers have al already risen some of you are still rejecting it because 
we ain't popular like the rest. And even if they were popular, they're going to give Jesus all the credit and all the glory. You know, they're going to let you know what it really is. They're going to give you truth. They're not going to sugarcoat it and tell you about a blessing while you live in the sin. They ain't going to do that. That's most, most people don't like what God is really saying. So that's why they reject it. And so possess the land. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. This is actually a header in the Bible that he had me write down. Okay. Prophecy Church leave. Double influence. Double inheritance. Double anointing of Christ. Like as I stated, you know, he, he just was double. That's what he promised. So he's he's honoring his promises that he has made me. He has made me many, many promises. And I and I listen, I want all he has for me. And I want what he has for you. Okay. Truth. Prophecy. Turning around. I said it again. Rebuke the church. Rebuke false. Rebuke wicked. That goes false. Everything that falls under it. Exhaustion. Informal service. He's just confirming things that he has said. He says it over and over again for me to continue to trust him only. He'll make it where you don't have you're you're not gonna seek to trust nobody else above him and that's how he has made me i don't care who you are i trust him above because i know he's gonna give me truth some people don't do it intentionally however for me i research everything and i don't i say if i say something it's something i know for sure and even when i say stuff that i know for sure people will still de debate it and so you have to be mindful and careful of those things you really do even with me, like I've never been a debater. I would be always be quiet. I was always the quiet one back in the day. And as he, as I prayed for boldness, he continued to give me more boldness. Even when I was doing ministry, I, I wasn't, I just wasn't as bold when I initially started doing ministry. I was just a naive, just, just naive, very naive. And so this will probably be the last page. I'm going to, I'm, let's see. Yeah, I hope that I can get the rest of this in the next video. Boldness of faith, occult overthrown. Okay. He gave possessed the land again. All right. And so this is the last thing I'm going to say. So he has given me the gift to write. And I've always written, always. And so I wrote my little first book, y'all. And I, I've been giving it out for free. Listen, I go back to the book and I look at it. You know, I'm you. some people don't notice stuff like that, but I send it to people that were articulate and they should have caught the grammar, which they did. But then they talked about it and they didn't let me know about it, which that's something I know that was done. So I'm going over this thing, y'all. And <laughs> the grammar, it was just dreadful it was awful but that goes to show when your mind isn't as clear when you're severely attacked you're just expressing how you feel so i went back over it and corrected all the grammar there wasn't any misspelled words but all the grammar it was just was a lot of um error and so it's fixed now thank you jesus hallelujah but i wanted to men mention that i'm not a yes person the people close to me They'll tell you that. They will verify that. I'm not a yes person. As far as I'm not going to allow you to do things that's not of God. I will let you know what it is. And I'm not going to be your yes person. I'm not going to agree with everything you say. You're not going to agree with everything I say either. However, when you got people, you know, when you see something that's not right, man, tell the people. Don't, don't, don't do it like that. You know, it, it's. To me, that's just nasty when people do stuff like that. When they know something's wrong, you'll rather go gossip about it than to tell a person about it. Okay. And so I'm going to end this with my little funny. I, I don't have a closing. So as I was with my sissy and my sis, uh, sister yesterday, y'all, my, my head was hurting from my wig. So I kept messing with it, kept messing with it. And I just so happened to pick up. <laughs> I got to ride yesterday, so I was glad. I love driving, but I rarely ever just ride. And I was glad to ride and so i look in my little camera they wasn't looking at me because i know they would have told me 
<laughs> my wig had no slid back and my cap hanging out, y'all. And I just started laughing. And my sisters, they like, what is wrong with her? I said, look, y'all, <laughs> before I fixed it. Look, y'all. And they laughed a little bit. They didn't laugh hard because they they not like that as far as, um, you know, some people be laughing so hard, like um, and thinking at the same time, not them, but some people be laughing so hard at you and thinking at the same time, that's good for you or whatever. And so anyway, I had to tell that little funny, be encouraged this day. I'm going to get into the rest of what the father gave me until the next video, y'all.